Organizations use various types of information systems to run their daily operations. These information systems range from low-level transactional systems such as purchasing and order delivery to high-level decision-making systems such as decision support systems. All these systems have to be tightly integrated so that organizations can meet their strategic goals. In this chapter, we are going to focus on supply chain management, customer relationship management, and enterprise resource planning systems. These systems play an important role in the success of an organization because having a healthy relationship with employees, customers, and suppliers positively affects the revenue and profitability of a company or organization. This chapter is divided into two sections. In section 8.1, we will be discussing enterprise systems and supply chain management. And in section 8.2, customer relationship management and enterprise resource planning are going to be covered. Section 8.1, supply chain management. The main objectives intended for this section include explain integrations and their role they play in connecting a corporation, describe supply chain management along with its impact on business, and identify the three technologies that are reinventing the supply chain. In today's business, it is of critical importance to corporations to have connected import information systems. Otherwise, islands of information systems are going to be created where each system acts individually and users need to manually enter the same data into multiple systems. The other drawback to separate information systems is compiling the information needed for decision making. The solution to this issue is system integration which eliminates the manual entry into multiple systems and at the same time managers will be able to get a comprehensive report from across a corporation. There are two types of integration, application and data integration, and regardless of these two types of integration, two methods, forward and backward integration, can be used to connect databases. This picture shows how forward and backward integration work across sales, order entry, order fulfillment, and billing systems. For example, in the order entry system, an employee can update the customer's information. Through integration, this information can be sent upstream to the sales and downstream to the order fulfillment system. The second integration method is to create a repository of data by storing the data in a central location. This picture shows the repository of data where users can create, update, and delete data, and then the updated data will be sent to the respective information system. The other systems are read-only and users are not able to make any changes to them. Enterprise system provides enterprise-wide support and data access for a firm's operational and business processes. Enterprise application integration connects the plans, methods, and tools aimed at integrating separate enterprise systems. There are three enterprise systems within an organization, supply chain management, customer relationship management, and enterprise resource planning. 